Okay, we don't have to do any calculating here. Again, oh my God, there's three lines of stuff we've got to read. Okay, but let's go through this together. Okay, we have one, <coughs> two, three, four substances. We've got some water liquid, we have some mercury liquid, we have some benzene liquid, and we have some aluminum solid. Okay, benzene, how do I know that was a liquid? Was it L? Yeah, that L behind it. That's going to tell you what phase it's in that we're talking about. Because everything has their own specific heat, <coughs> but for a particular state. <coughs> that if you change state, it would have a specific heat. Okay, and here's the rundown. Now, I've got those four out separate. Let's read this first sentence. We add the same amount of heat to 10 grams of each of the following substances, and they all start at 20. One, two, three, four containers. I'm going to add the same amount of heat to each one. I have the same amount of each one. In other words, we're controlling the variables. Okay, the only thing that's going to change is this property of each one. Okay, so we're going to put some, some heat in. Now, they're not all going to change the temperature the same amount. Okay, did I talk in here about lakes and rivers in Texas? Okay, you know, lakes and rivers here in Texas, in the summertime in Texas, it gets really, really hot, and in the wintertime, now it's getting really, really cold. But the temperature in our lakes and rivers don't change that much. Okay, during the, the three months of summer, it can be really hot outside, the temperature of that lake doesn't go up that much. Why? Because water has a very high specific heat. It takes a lot of heat, 4.18 joules, for every gram, for every degree. So you've got to put in a lot of heat energy to change the temperature of water because it has such a high specific heat. You've heard this, the little statement, a watch pot never boils. Okay, if you try, you have, you've heard, some of you have heard that. Okay, that's probably a pretty old, old wives' tale or whatever. But you're in the kitchen, you're, you're trying to boil some water. It seems like it takes forever, especially if you're standing there impatiently watching it. Why does it take so long? High specific heat of water. Okay. Now, with that idea, we want to rank. These. We're going to put in the same amount of heat, and let's see, we want to rank them lowest to highest on temperature. So we're going to use this. Be sure you're comfortable this semester. Less than, where that is greater than. Okay, I put in the same amount of heat, I got the same amount of stuff, they all start at the same temperature. Whose temperature, let's see, we want the lowest. Whose temperature up there is going to change the least? Water. Because it has such a high specific heat. you got to stick in a lot of heat to make a change. Okay. Who's coming in in second place then for lowest? Benzene. Benzene. C6H6. Benzene. Okay. Who's coming next? Aluminum. Aluminum. And who's going to be the hottest of them all? Mercury. Mercury. That's the answer. Yep. You just rank them. You don't have to do a calculation. Okay. You go into a sauna. You sit down there, and you're pretty warm. Let's say you are wearing, like I am, some long dangling earrings that are partially metal. As long as I'm just sitting here like here, this I am fine. What would I experience if I lean sideways and this baby hits my neck? It's going to hurt. I might even have a brand on my neck for that because the metal has a very low specific heat, the temperature is going to zip up with that same amount of heat. And so it's going to seem intense when it hits my neck. Or you go into a sauna, the benches are made out of wood. What if you accidentally sit on a nail? Okay, it's going to seem hotter, more intense, because the specific heat of iron is very low. It zips up where the wood doesn't. Okay, so that really is chapter one. Now, let's get cracking. Chapter two, and a lot of stuff in chapter two you already know about, because we spent a lot of time in chapter one doing stuff. Here's section one, chemical formulas. Let's just review. 